welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Virgo. Let's call in spirit with some wind I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Virgo. I got to eat some delicious banh mi today, so I'm very much so in a good mood. And it's beautiful outside. It's like the like part of the year in Minneapolis where it's perfect. Kind of like late August, maybe going to like October where, you know, maybe you need a sweatshirt, maybe you can wear boots, maybe you can wear sandals, maybe you can wear summer dress, but anyways, hope you're doing well, Virgo. All right, we're going to go with the Morgan Greer, um, so being pulled towards that and see what we have for you today, Virgo. So the first card out is the Ten of Swords, and it kind of came out sideways, so I feel like I feel like someone's becoming aware of or recovering from a pretty major betrayal or a series of betrayals. I look at this as somebody who has gone through, like I said, some serious issues with other people and maybe we'll see the hermit or something, but I feel like this Ace of Cups is here because we have somebody who has kind of retreated a little bit from the people that have let them down and they're working to heal themselves. They're working to put some of that time or energy or love back into themselves instead of putting it into people who have betrayed them or let them down. So we have the hanged man in the reverse. <laughs> that one hit me in the face. <laughs> The Fool in the Reverse. So there may have been someone in your social circle or family that was working to prevent you from having a new beginning or starting a new venture, doing something that maybe was a little bit outside of what was expected of you. But with the hangman in the reverse, there's a sense here that there's been a shift in perception. So I'm curious if that means somebody is deciding to, you know, full steam ahead, regardless of what people are saying or trying to do to keep them held back from this new beginning they were interested in. But I feel like there's still hope with this new beginning this person wanted. <laughs> Period. Yeah, we have some movement towards towards our goals. So a period of stagnation, perhaps brought on by, you know, processing the fact that somebody would want ill for you or would want to block your blessings or, yeah, your success. You can't be stopped, whoever you are, Virgo. There is a lot of power between having the chariot and the six of wands come up together. That is forward movement with purpose and capability. Like you're going to be successful in this. So I don't know who was trying to keep you back from doing this, but it's probably somebody that was jealous of you or felt like you would see them as less appropriate for your life if you excelled too much. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, clarifying the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Cups. This feels to me, Virgo, like somebody is becoming aware or has become aware of the bad luck or the toxicity that was in their life or in their environment as a result 
of somebody that they knew they should have probably walked away from. So there's this sense that somebody became aware that they needed to make better decisions for their own life if they wanted to have less holding them back. You see how the cup being extended is being extended from like thin air? Somebody is intrigued at the idea of a new love. Somebody is ready to walk away from a situation that was painful and they know that there would be options going forward. But more importantly, they're also very invested in the self-love thing, right? Like I'm gonna take, exactly, I'm gonna take time for me to heal. I'm gonna do what I need to do to find balance within my own life so that I have the courage and stamina to pursue the dreams that I have. Somebody is really working to make sure that they can come from a place of being healed and happy. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse, clarifying the Fool in the reverse. So this again seems to come across as unstoppable energy. What somebody tried to hold you back from, they cannot hold you back from. They may have tried to emotionally confuse you or manipulate you. They may have tried to tell you you weren't good enough. But at the end of the day, either there was something inside of you or messages or signs that you were seeing externally, perhaps the both of them, but there was something that helped you remove this blindfold and feel like you were capable of moving forward. And now with the chariot, like I said, with the six of wands, very powerful energy, right? a courageousness, a determination, and understanding that you're capable of doing this thing. And that's really exciting to read here for you. Aww. So we have the Six of Cups and the King of Rods. Hmm. There's a masculine energy here that's thinking back on something from his past. I feel like there's a regret or like I'm hearing, I wish I had the ability to time travel. I wish I could go back in time. It's like somebody chose the wrong partner. This may have been somebody that was just a friend or somebody you were never in a relationship with. But it feels to me like there's a masculine energy here that's very focused on something he wants to move towards. This could be... Um, a passion or a person. We have the Five of Pentacles clarifying the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Virgo, it looks to me like either you already have or you're being encouraged to leave this person in the past that had betrayed you over and over again, that brought you bad luck or tried to stand in your way pursuing your dreams. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This person was trying to confuse you. They may have been using gaslighting or emotional manipulation to try to convince you that they were better for you than they actually were. But I get a sense that they were really only just trying to see how long they could get you to stick around. They didn't really want to invest in this and may have been invested elsewhere because this page of pentacles is looking off into the distance, right? So I feel like eventually, Virgo, there was a decision to move forward on your own. So we have the Knight of Rods in the reverse. By the way, Rods in this deck are Wands. 
what I should have called my channel, Wicked Rods. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna say it. This isn't for all of you, but for some of you, there's a masculine here who has been consumed by sexual thoughts for a female from the past. Just, you know, just a little phallic. <laughs> For others of you, there was an indecision, a determination to do something, and then I can't do that. Okay, I'm gonna do it, and then backing out at the last second. There's a fear associated with a second chance or a new beginning with somebody from the past, and it keeps kind of like making someone like duck out at the last second, like can't, actually can't actually go for it and then we have strength in the reverse yeah this person is dealing with a lack of courage perhaps a fear of rejection we're going to clarify with the Bianco Nero Let's see what we have for Virgo, please. Wow, fell right into the right spot. We have the Nine of Swords. So it feels to me like somebody felt like they could use the situation, be emotionally manipulative, never really truly hold themselves accountable for the behavior that they had that was toxic. And they didn't feel like you would ever actually make a decision or end the relationship. It's awfully rude. So this person who thought that they could just kind of like keep you in limbo, maybe while they were interested in other people, whatever it was, they thought they could just keep extending these like kind of false apologies and everything would just like keep kind of moving forward. And it would keep you kind of in a cage. Like, I have this, I don't really want it, but like, I have a boyfriend, or I have a girlfriend, you know, like that's a status thing or something. Then we have the world in the reverse. And this is clarifying the page of pentacles in the reverse. They didn't want you to have a new start. They didn't want you to have a new cycle. I really do feel like this person thought that if you progress too far, you would leave them behind and they would not be able to use you for your money. There it is. There it fucking is. Holy shit. Literally as I'm speaking it and the two cards that would like absolutely demonstrate that for me, this person wanted to use you for your money. Whoever you are, you're the king of pentacles and the other one is the, the queen of pentacles in the universe. Take it how it resonates. Maybe you're the one that I think is shitty. Whatever. Don't watch my channel if you don't like it. We've got somebody here who knows how to network they figure their shit out and there's value here this is somebody who's going to continue to do better financially there's a drive here but with the the queen of pentacles in the reverse we have somebody who's probably losing money spending you know more than they should trying to get money from other people to fund their shit and not really working or not good at keeping a job. This person wanted to prevent your new beginning because they perce perceived it as something that would happen without them and that you would find someone better. They wanted to keep you in a frustrated or codependent situation so that you wouldn't leave them. They wanted to be the one to decide when the relationship ended, not you. So we have 
Five of Cups clarifying the Nine of Swords. This person from your past is now regretful over, I feel like more like losing something per se, not really like, sorry for my actions. So we have Five of Cups, they're again, worried about how things happened. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. They're gonna try to get somebody else to communicate with you on their behalf to get this thing back up and running. Maybe you've blocked them. Shit, I would have. But there's something here about perhaps a mutual friend or a family member that maybe gets kind of like bamboozled here, but they're gonna try to reach back out again because they don't know when to give up. I'm like, seeing like a little annoying yippee dog just like <laughs> but this isn't going to work whoever has decided that they were done with this already they've already walked away i don't think this is going to change even if somebody's trying to use sex to get back in we'll just leave it at that to get back in <laughs> all right one more card here but yeah there's like no desire here <laughs> no sexy time would like seal the deal on this one we have Hidden energy of the hanged man in the reverse, which we already had. So I feel like this unstable person is the one that's going to be <laughs> came right back out. Yeah, so basically the tables have turned. What they were trying to do to you, now they're going to be in that position. They're going to be Oh, why are you doing this? Well, he, they can't move anywhere. They can't move forward. They're, like, pissed off that you, like, didn't actually fall for their games. They're trying to find a way to manipulate their way back into your life. Just try to, like, fuck with your shit. Or at least get something off of you. Don't let them. You deserve better, Virgo. All right. Let's see. If this is resonating for you. Go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. <laughs> subscribe subscribe we're going to finish things off with the fortune telling cards they're called the zodiac fortune telling cards let's see what for go please you will be more prosperous in the near future so keep this person out of your life okay i'm not telling you how to live your life i'm just telling you how to live your life <laughs> all right what else do you have for go please oh shit Sickness is surrounding you, but will turn out for the best. That one I haven't seen yet. So you may have had a number of people down for the count. Maybe they, you know, I don't know. Don't worry is really what it's saying. Somebody may be trying to get you to worry. Because on the bottom it says you worry over small matters. All right, and then we have a false friend, beware. Uh, for those of you that are maybe still honing some of those skills in terms of intuition or discernment, I think the most important element is being able to observe things like body language, how somebody says something, what they don't say. Um, in other words, if they know and you know that they owe you an apology and they can't just like say the words without tacking on a like but and then justification for their actions tread carefully my friend if you're trying to get better at apologizing i would recommend finding a way to explain the situation first if you're trying to justify Regardless, just set the scene first, then follow it up with, or end on. Nonetheless, knowing what I know now, I'm sorry I chose to go that route, or I'm sorry I said what I said. 
didn't intend to have things end up the way that they did, and going forward, I'll act. What you're doing there is you're under, you're, you're setting the scene, you're helping them understand what actually happened without it sounding like a get out of jail free card, right? Like I still understand that I could have done something different, or I do now at least, and going forward, I plan to act differently because I understand those consequences weren't very pleasant for you. That's what people really want to know, right? Like, do you feel bad enough to not do this to me again? You will hear of a marriage shortly. Okay. Well, whatever that means for you, Virgo. All right. I hope that you enjoy the reading and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for the support.